Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. The content has been coming thick and fast and I'm trying to do everything I can to help you guys with your squad battles grind because I know that it's very favourable game mode to play at the beginning of FIFA because you want to get coins, you want to improve that team and so on and so forth. So, what have we done already on the channel? We've had our tutorial on how to beat Legendary. Go and watch that. That will help you a lot. And I put a top 200 custom tactics video up yesterday. And today we are going to be talking about what difficulty level to play your games on. Now, of course, if you're a top end player, a top 200 player, um, you're going to be flittering from Legendary to Ultimate depending on whether you're playing co-op or not. But... If you're somebody that doesn't normally play squad battles, this is a really good uh, video for you. So, let's talk about it. So, of course, the aim of the game for squad battles is to get as many points as possible to achieve whatever rank that you are looking to get. Which I would suggest that for a lot of you, you're looking at getting that Elite 1 finish so you can get your 26,000 coins and your uh, 250k packs. Um, or just to play as much as possible. But, of course, it's time, isn't it? It takes a lot of time, squad battles. So, you want to get as many points in your games as possible um, to, get to, your, um, get to get to your rank as quick as possible to save time. You don't want to be playing an extra five games because you've lost a load of games and you haven't got the amount of points that you need. So, this is what we're going to do to try and help you. So, when you go on to the squad battles screen like this, right? You see here, the first two are normally the uh, worst two teams to play and the second ones um, are the harder teams although there's always a little bit of a contrast between the second one and the third one right it can be chemistry or rating how they determine whether they're better but what's for sure is the first one is going to be the worst one so here we've got a 78 rated team with 50 chemistry right now another thing to look out for is see on the right hand side um, of the screen where it's got the players and it's got their tactics. So it tells you their tactics, which is great. Imagine going into an online game and you just knew what their tactics were. It would make it so much easier. So we can see there their width. They're playing with full width, right? Which means their team's going to be dragged all the way across the pitch. And their depth is really, really high. So lofted through balls are OP at the moment. So you know you're going to be able to do lofted through balls to the cows come home. Plus, it's not a good team. And I say not a good team. That's because we're talking about the chemistry. It's got 50 chemistry, right? So it's pretty bang average team, even for this stage of FIFA. But we go across the players and you'll start seeing some minus stats like here. So Hector Bellerin, minus four. So if we pick on a particularly bad stat for him, volleys, right? His volleys is his worst stat, 41. He's now minus four, so he's now got 37 for volleys. So it means he's not a 78 rated player anymore. He is a 74 rated player. And you can see, as we go down, there are other minus stats, which is bringing the whole team down. This guy, minus 12, you know. So it will make it an awful uh, lot easier, right? So for them, for these type of games, go ahead and play it on a legendary. Or um, if you're a, a world class player, you could go and play it on legendary it's, it's gonna be okay you know if you've got something that's like 50 chem or below don't worry about um, playing it on like a, a level above would be my would be my suggestion um, but you gotta score your five goals and then you'll get the good points for it okay but when we get to a better team like this one there's no use just going in on legendary again uh, again I'm saying this unless you're a top top player with this team as an example it's 85 rated and it's 100 chemistry which means that all the players are going to be playing to full potential and it's a really good team you know it's got Lewandowski into pie up front and um, De Jong in the middle great subs it's going to be a tough game right so you're better off taking it down level to world class and winning 5-1 or 5-2 than you are playing on legendary and scraping a 2-1 victory you'll get more points for playing on world class and getting your five goals than what you will do playing on legendary and winning 2-1 right so you really need to bear that in mind and of course this works down the ladder so if you're if you play on world class knock it down to professional okay and score the five goals you don't need to 
don't feel like, oh, well, that's such a, a slight on me because I'm putting it down. Just go and win that game 5-0 um, because you'll probably get unstuck. If you're playing all the top teams um, on the same level and you're not a great squad battles player, you're going to end up losing and you'll get hardly any points. And it's just an extra game that you've got to go and play. Okay, the next thing that I want you to keep an eye out for when deciding what um, difficulty level to play on is don't just look at the screen that you can see here and just take it as gospel that they are 82 rated, right? Click into it, do view squad, right? And the reason I'm saying this, although none of the teams are actually got this at the moment, but trust me, this does happen. You might have a team and it's got a full team of silvers and the bench has got a bunch of superstars on it, right? So, because of all the superstars, the rating still might be like 80, 81, 82 with 100 chemistry. But really, you're facing a team of silvers and you're facing a team that's 68 rated, really. So, you play that on as high a level as you're capable with and say thank you for the points because the higher the rating the more points that you get so you could be a bit clever like that and again that's going to save you time and it's going to get you more points and you think well why would that happen these teams come from all over ultimate team they come from draft and they are other people's teams right so at the moment there's objectives right where you're playing with full bronze teams and full silver teams to complete objectives right some people are going to be doing it right and they will have superstars on the bench and in after one minute they'll bring those superstars on to replace the silver players so if EA harvests some of those squads which I'm almost certain across 40 games there would be a couple there are going to be some gems like that to play against that are going to get you more points trust me and it works the other way too um, the other sometimes your first game it can say uh, 70 rated, you know, and 55 chemistry, and you think, oh, God, let's press start, you know, easy peasy, let's do this, and you go on to it, and actually, it's got a bench full of bronze players, this one is a similar type of example, but you'd, be, you'd have a bench full of bronze players, and the team would actually have some decent players in it, and you think, oh, this one's supposed to be really easy. It's only 72 rated and 50 chemistry, but it's got Haaland up front and Van Dijk in defence with a smattering of silver and gold. Um, you know, so just keep an eye out that for that. And if you see something like that, you're just more prepared when you go into the game. So, guys, I hope that's helped you a little bit. Um, the ultimate advice there is just have a look at everything. Um, before you select your difficulty level and don't feel ashamed of notching it down a level for playing the more difficult teams because you need to go and win those games no good losing it it's going to take you um, ages but guys that is it for today please drop a like on the video if you like what you've seen subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i can see you tomorrow for more content see you later guys bye bye